Hey guys, Chris here with the SurfboardWarehouse.com. Today we're going to be reviewing the FCS2 Reactor Fins. Now this is a brand new fin set and a brand new fin system from FCS. This fin system is screwless. Now you do need the FCS2 plugs in your board and able to use the FCS2 fins and utilize that technology where you no longer need screws and you no longer need fin keys. So really exciting stuff there. You can head over to our website. We have a couple different videos up there already that show you how this system works. But in this video, we're going over the FCS2 reactor fins specifically, which is one of the four fins in FCS's initial launch for FCS2 that's called the Essentials Range. So again, this is the reactor fin and it's one of the fins in that range. Now something else to think about, and I highly recommend this, we make these YouTube videos short and kind of to the point on purpose because we recommend you hop in our Fanatic Fin Testing Program and try all the fins before you buy them. I can kind of steer you in a general direction, but if you really want to get dialed, Fanatic is the way to do it. So on that note, let's hop in, let's look at these fins. They come in three different materials. They come in the Performance Core Carbon off to my right with some quad rears there. They also come in Performance Core and Glass Flex off to my left. Now, this set of fins specifically is more up and down than what you might be used to. What that does is it allows you to make very small, very quick maneuver adjustments so you can get right in the critical section on the wave. So these fins are perfect for a punchy beach break where you're really trying to stay in that pocket. They're also going to help you with aerial maneuvers, again, because you can really just touch your surfing up a little bit and get that extra kind of maneuverability out of your board and you can turn on a dime with these fins. The Performance Core Carbon is kind of the high-end fin in this range. Now that's specifically because of that carbon there in the front and the carbon strips through the back end of the fin. That's going to make these fins flex in a very specific pattern best for this template and those kind of waves. Also, we recommend you use these fins on a board, your kind of high performance short board with little to moderate rocker. So what that tells me is you really don't want to go into anything too powerful with these fins. They're just not going to hold as much as you might like. But say head high, foot overhead, punchy beach break, you're trying to work on your airs, you're trying to stay tight in the pocket, maybe some barrels are there to be found, the reactor fins are going to be perfect for that. Now with that PC carbon material, you have the quad rears there, so you have the option of running this as a thruster or a quad on your board. If we hop over here, we're talking about the performance core and the glass flex. Performance core is not going to be as stiff as a performance core carbon, and the flex pattern is going to be a little bit different since it doesn't have that carbon inlay. The glass flex is the most flexible of these three fins, and a lot of people say that they might actually prefer glass flex on smaller surf, so just something to keep in mind there as those fins are going to be the most flexible in this range. Last couple things to think about is the size requirements on these fins. On the Performance Core Carbon Thruster, you have a small, medium, and large. On those quad rears, you only have a medium set. So the best way to kind of switch up your quad set around is get some different sizes in the fronts since you're kind of stuck with the medium quad rears there. As far as the Performance Core and the Glass Flex, a little bit less options for you. They just come in a medium across the board. You could use the Performance Core carbon quad rears and the performance core fronts if you had a performance core thruster set and turn it into a quad they just give you a little bit stiffer quad rears which you actually might like now again a lot of options here i've kind of given you an overview of these fins the best thing to do is hop in fanatic and try them before you buy them all the fins are available in our fanatic fin testing program so it's really important you kind of take my advice and hop in that program and try all the fins that are on offer from fcs future fins and the whole bunch so we appreciate it. Head over to our website, thesurfboardwarehouse.com, if you want to pick yourself up a set today, and we'll see you in the water.